Hey guys, it's Simon here. I'm just going to do a very quick video on the new importer I've been talking to you guys about in the group. And I love it. I think it's awesome. It's going to simplify the way we import everything, every kind of account, every kind of project, every kind of profile into Browsio. So the old way, which was a real pain in my opinion, but it had to be there because we needed it and I was using it. <coughs> Excuse me. I know a lot of you weren't using it because it wasn't that user friendly. I mean, look at all of this data, right? So you've got to get all of that information and then the information that you're not using, <clears throat> you have to leave blank, but anyway, I'm not going to confuse you. Let's just get rid of that because that's what we're going to be doing <coughs> Excuse me. in the next update. And now what we have now from now on is the dynamic importer and you can have the delimiter set to whatever you want. You know, whatever you want. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going to put it back to comma because that's what we're using and it's what I'm sure most people are going to be using. And I'm going to import. Here is a demo, bunch of demo accounts. And it just imports it neatly. Just like that. And I just want to point out that when you're with the proxy, when you're importing here, just so that you shouldn't um, run into this problem yourself, is that when you're importing proxies and ports, your IP import, make sure to have that separated by the colon, not by the colon, by just a comma. All right. Get rid of the colon and separate it with a comma, because otherwise you're going to end up with them both in here. And when it gets imported, it's not going to import it into the correct field. And I'm going to show you in a second exactly what I mean. So let's just import them. So this is the username for me, the project name, I mean. This is the first name. No, sorry, the email. This is the first name. This is the second name, last name. This is the username. This is the password. This is the IP. See, there's no IP port option and here's the port because that's just the way it's set up in the projects guys ip port proxy port proxy username proxy username proxy password then we've got the address where is that the address street the city, oh, no. yeah, city, and then the zip code, and then the state. Awesome. Okay, so you've got all that information, and if you forgot something and you want to add it in, then you can still add columns to this, right? But we're not going to, because we don't need to, because we've got everything that we need here, all that information. We're just going to import that. I don't know what this is, 10, 20 accounts, 20 maybe 30 accounts, maybe. Okay, and we'll just import. And when that imports it, see projects created successfully. And when that imports it, it imports it into this open area here. This is this, this is basically your canvas, your open area where it gets imported. From here, you can then move them into anywhere you want. And, and that's in another training where you guys can go and see how to use the folder system that we have implemented into Browsio. So there you go. That's how you guys can now import projects. It's that simple, that easy. Talk to you guys soon.